everybody welcome back to my channel it's me though i feel like i'm a little close but um yes today i have my mid-month project ease it up update um i have not completely used up anything yet but i have really good progress on everything usually around this time i've like completely used up some things and i still but i still have like full stuff left um i have used a good amount of everything so far especially the body care i'm very close to being done on a few things in the body care so <sighs> yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll start. We'll just go by sets. So the first thing is my Peace Iced Raspberry Bellini by Fergus Smith. So notes are Chill Prosecco, Sparkling Raspberry, and Citrus Twist. This smells really good. Honestly, it's very, very similar to Champagne Toast. And I feel like that's kind of turning me away from this a little bit. Because I like it, but Champagne Toast just is like <laughs> basic in my opinion. Not like you are basic if you wear it. I think it's a basic fragrance, as in Bath and didn't put a lot of work into creating that fragrance. Um, because I think it's just like bubbly berries and citrus. Um, but yeah, I like it. It's just it's like not something I'd repurchase, just because bubbly citrusy fruity fragrances are just not my thing. Um, I like them from time to time, but they're just not my go-to. Okay, so then for the shower gel of that one, um, that's where I am on that. I don't think I've actually used the body care of this yet. I've just used the mist. Um, I don't know why, but that's what happened, I guess. And the lotion is still full. So yes, I have not yet, yet used the body care, but I have used the mist. Okay, next we have... Pure Wonder. Now, I don't know if you can't see through there, but I'm right there. So, a little bit away from the bottom of the label. The notes are Iced Rosé, Star Jasmine, and Warm White Amber. I'm actually not liking this as much as I thought I would. And I'm finding out it is more of a fresh, sparkling floral. Like, it has those Champagne Toast sparkling aspects, and it just has, like, a fresh floral as well. So... I'm not liking it as much as I um, was thinking I would now that I'm wearing it. I think it's okay. It's just I'm glad I didn't buy like a full backup set or backups at all really. But yeah, I really thought I liked this more. But I feel like I smelled a warmer note. And now that I'm wearing my body, I don't get as much of a warm note. Okay. Now for the body care, that is where I am with the lotion. And that is where I am with the shower gel. So pretty good progress. I don't know why. I feel like I take kind of like a break of my produce up at the beginning of the month. Like I still use it. I just don't use it up like in the amount I normally do. So that's why I like the mid-month updates usually are like how she use it up. <laughs> um, all that stuff before the end of the month. But I always do. So um, it's very rare that I don't finish up a full product um, or leave some month. Next is something I've been loving recently. This is Vanilla Bean Noel. It is currently right there. So I've well, used a good fifth of it. Um, the notes are Fresh Vanilla Bean, Sugar Cookies, Warm Caramel, Whipped Cream, and Snow Kissed Musk. This has been the one I've been wearing the most so far. And oh my gosh. Like, when I first smelled this, like right taking out of my collection in the beginning, it certainly was not, I didn't think it was strong. Um, And I didn't think it was like impressive anymore, but... This is the 2020 version. This is really good. And no, it is not as good as the 2019 versions. And the 2018 one, which is one I used up. I had the 2018 and I really liked it. But it's still really good. Um, honestly, it's still very strong. My mom could smell it on me a while after I had put it on. So I think it's still actually relatively strong. And I'm very happy about that. Um, and I haven't smelled this year's yet, and I haven't smelled this year's winter candy apple yet either, so we'll see when time my annual sale comes if I pick up another one. But if it smells good, I definitely will. So for shower gel, then, we are right there, pretty close to being done. I mean, I end up using the body care faster than the mists, um, just because I use them in the shower in the lotion. That's how that's going. Very, going very, very well. Okay. Next, I have Snowflakes and Cashmere. Um, the notes are Vanilla Cashmere Cream, Caramel Woods, and Frosted Clementine. I've actually been pairing this with my Donna Karen K2 
cashmere mist dupe and honestly it smells nothing like cashmere or anything it smells a little like grass um with a hint of cashmere so you know I tried to make it better and I think I layered my cupcake swirl mist and this with it and it actually smelled pretty good I also layered this with my Paris Hilton Can Can perfume and it smells good as well so yeah I've been loving this as you can see very good progress um it smells so good I, I'm liking this a lot more than I thought I would actually and I'm glad I have a backup so yes so then for the body wash as you can see there's like a little dent in there um and then the lotion is halfway gone so very good progress on the body care as well okay next we have winterberry wonder notes of ruby frost winterberry sparkling cranberry crystal vanilla i have not used this at all um i just haven't gotten around to it i know it's been like 13 days when i'm filming this of december and i don't have 13 fragrances but i just have been really focusing on that vanilla bean a while because i'm loving it so much um yeah i just haven't used this yet i do love that scent and i believe i have a backup but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. And so obviously the moisture and body wash is completely full. And this is where it started. Because I had used it a little bit before. Okay. Next is the Joy Sugared Snickerdoodle Mist. The notes are Snickerdoodle, Spice, Cream Vanilla, and Sugared Musk. I have used it a little tiny bit. I just used it to layer with my Vanilla Bee Noel. And um... This is very buttery. I'm saying like super buttery. This is more buttery cookie than sugar cookie. This is like a butter cookie. It's like a butter cookie and sugar cookie mixed together because it's not like the crispy like crunchy butteriness but it's like a creamy buttery cookie with a hint of spice. And I'm talking about the slice hints of spice. I'm, I do love this a lot and I have backups or a backup but it's just way buttery than I imagined and I do like it. I just think I need to like be in the mood for such a happy gourmand. It's not like heavy but like it's just such a buttery gourmand. So I do like it. As you can see I mixed it with Vanilla Bean Noel. Smell good. But yes. <clears throat> and consequently since I mixed it with Vanilla Bean Noel I have not yet used the body care of that but um very hopeful to start using it up. Okay. Next, we have Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow. The notes are Velvet Peach, Vanilla Meringue, and Cream and Jasmine. And I have, the reason I have this much gone is I've been using this one as like my bed mist. I usually spray my bed at night before I get in or in the morning um, when I don't make it, but I just spray it down sometimes. Um, not that my bed like stinks or anything, but just use it up um I do like this a lot and honestly this is coming off way more fruity than creamy vanilla but I still do the creamy vanilla mixed with the um the the soft peach and it's still really good um and consequently again I have not used the body care I don't know I'm having like issues finding time to use the body care in the shower because I've I don't know I've been taking faster showers I guess or just been concentrating more on like getting a really good base clean in and using like body washes <laughs> that really nourish my body. Cause honestly I'm trying to use up all my Bath and Butter shower gels just cause they do kind of irritate me. I can only use them on my legs. I can't use them on my arms because I have eczema. Like and it's not like just like my legs. It's like ugly, disgusting patches that look like like massive scabs. They kind of look like a boil in a scamming scatter. It's disgusting. Uh, they're not like, it's not like a boil. But, um, and yeah, they're like in circles. And it's, um, it doesn't itch me, but it's painful because they're so dry. Anyways, that's why I can't use it on my arms. Um, just because it gets so dry and I don't like it. So, yes, I also don't use fragrance lotion on my arms unless it's like the US Philly Hydra. That one doesn't seem to bother me. Anyways, Fireside Flurries Fragrance Mist. Let's see where it is. Okay, right here on this one, the notes are Toasted Marshmallow, Pink Lavender, and Cashmere Woods. I'm having mixed feelings on this one because I'm smelling a lavender note that is reminiscent to Bath & Body Works scent that I don't like, but I can't put my finger on what the name is. I'm getting a lavender note like that. There's a Bath & Body Works lavender scent that I just really don't like, and I'm getting that note. I'm also getting the cashmere woods and the and the um 
and the marshmallow -y vanilla. Yeah. Well, I'm getting more marshmallow here. But when I'm spraying it on my bed, um, on my arm, it smells more marshmallow -y and vanilla. But on my bed, it smells more lavender, which I guess is a good, like, bed scent, but whatever. Okay. And body cream, have not used it. And my Magic Me Shower Gel, which I'm pairing with that one, I also have not used yet. I've just been using that one as a bed mist, along with my Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow. So, yeah, that's basically everything that's been going on um, between the month. And I do have two days until the 15th when this is going to be posted. So, I mean, there will be a little more progress. But um, filming the day of is not an option for me because I go to work. So um, I can't do that. Anyways, yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.